the Rep Fitness PR1100. Could this be the best power rack for the money? I mean, it is a power rack, so it's got more to offer than a squat rack. It comes with accessories that other brands make you pay extra for. And compared to the rest of the market, it's incredibly cheap. What's up y'all, it's Jake, coming at you live from the Barbin Garage Gym, and today, I've got the Rep Fitness PR1100 in for review. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through all the details of this power rack, the price, some pros and cons, and most importantly, who should and who shouldn't buy it. All right, now before we dive in, I've reviewed a ton of squat racks and power racks on barbin.com. If you wanna explore more, just head over to Google, type in Barbin Best Power Racks, and find out where the PR1100 wound up on that list. So let's talk about what I like about this power rack. Well, it features a multi-grip pull-up bar that doesn't always come standard with a power rack. At seven feet tall and four feet wide, you can put the PR1100 almost anywhere. And with 14 gauge steel, you can hold up to 700 pounds on this power rack. Oftentimes, you'll find 11 gauge steel at a professional gym. But for the quality of this 14 gauge and the price, I think this is a good option for a home gym. All right, so here's some potential cons that I could see with this power rack. While it does feature a small footprint, Space is always a factor whenever you're setting up your home gym. So if you want yours to be in your garage, make sure this thing will fit because if you're parking in there, you might need to look at maybe just a traditional squat rack or maybe even a foldable rack or one that mounts on the wall. Secondly, 700 pounds may be more than enough for you, but if you're one of those power lifters that's really pumping the weight, that might not be enough. You might wanna look at another option that can handle more weight. All right, now let's dig into the money here. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Listed at under $400 on the Rep Fitness website, this includes a set of J-hooks, chrome safety arms, and your pull-up bar. Now you may be able to find cheaper options online, maybe at Amazon, but those options may be of lesser quality and feature fewer attachments. Speaking of attachments, the PR1100 can be loaded with them. Just head over to the Rep Fitness website. You'll find over 20 separate attachments you can add directly to this rack anything from a landmine attachment, dip handles, even a lat row and pull down attachment. And since a power rack is the centerpiece of your home gym, the original low price of this power rack really allows you to expand and get the most out of it. Okay, so let's dig into the build of this power rack a little bit here. As I mentioned, it's made with 14 gauge steel, but it also has a powder coat on it to give it a nice matte black finish. It's seven feet tall and four feet wide, the depth of just under four feet. And inside the cage, you're working with 44 by 45 and a half inches of working room. Plenty of space to get a workout in. And it is worth mentioning that the spacing on this power rack is not west side spacing. So west side spacing is one inch in between each hole. This is three inches in between each hole. So you might have just a little bit of difficulty finding that sweet spot to rack your barbell. All right, so now it's time for the fun part, the attachments. Yes, we mentioned this power rack features a multi-grip pull-up bar, the J-hooks, and the chrome safety arms. But also, the beauty of it, you can add almost anything to it, up to 20 different attachments. So some of my favorites are the dip handles, the landmine attachment, and the lat row and pull-down attachment. Say you went with the lat row pull-down. It also unlocks the ability to do cable curls, and you can go and get an ankle cuff to work on lower body movements, such as kickbacks. But also, if you want the landmine attachment or the dip handles, you also need to accommodate for more space because it will dominate more space. The dip handles stick out almost 20 inches and with the landmine attachment, you have to make sure you have enough space for the barbell to connect to it, which is almost another six feet. All right, so we're gonna walk you through some of the details now of the PR1100. As we mentioned, this power rack does not feature west side spacing. So you'll find there's a three inch gap in between each hole, which could potentially lead to a little bit more difficulty when you're finding that sweet spot to rack your barbell. Let's talk about my favorite feature now. It's this multi-grip pull-up bar. You, not only can you hit your regular pull-ups, you can hit your close grip, and you can utilize this two inch grip back here, but be sure to unbolt this pull-up bar itself and flip it around or else you might hit your head on the frame. Let's get into some of the safety features now. These J-hooks are lined with the strongest thermoplastic available on the market, ensuring that you do not harm your barbell or the frame itself when you're racking it. 
And also these chrome safety arms right here, great safety feature in case you were to drop your barbell for whatever reason. But try not to do that too often because it could lead to some marks on your barbell and you don't really want that. Now, if you were to add the landmine attachment, that guy goes right in here. Just snap it in there and you can put your barbell on it, unlock a whole nother workout. And say you also wanted to do the dip attachment, right? Well, that guy attaches onto here. You find your height you want for the uh, safety arm, attach the dip handles and you're good to go. And since this is a movable power rack, it definitely moves. As you can see, there's a bit of a wobble to it. I noticed it in my time with it, but at the same time, it was totally fine. I didn't feel as if it was a safety hazard whatsoever. But as you can see, there's a lot to like about this power rack. You can transform it, add on multiple attachments to it so they can really be the centerpiece of your home gym. All right, now you may ask me, who should buy the PR1100? Well, if you're someone who's looking for an affordable power rack that offers durability and high functionality, you're gonna love this rack. Also, if you're looking for a power rack that's fully customizable to meet your needs, you're gonna love the fact that you can put over 20 separate attachments on this rack. And third, it features a flat foot design, meaning you don't have to bolt it down if you don't want to, and it also unlocks the ability to move it around your gym as you please. All right, now with all that being said, there are reasons why somebody may not wanna purchase the PR1100. Yes, it does feature a smaller footprint than some of its competition, but if you're tight on space already, you might wanna look at a foldable rack. And plus, when you add on extra attachments, it's gonna demand even more space than it already has. This power rack cannot be bolted into the ground. May be great for some people, may not be great for some people, because it does wobble a little bit. If you're one of those power lifters out there who needs more than 700 pounds of weight, the PR1100 is not for you, my friend. Unfortunately, it cannot handle more weight than that, so you will need to find another option that can. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you today on the PR1100. This is a cost-efficient power rack. It's fully customizable to fit your needs and become that true centerpiece of your home gym. It does feature that multi-grip pull-up bar, which is a really nice touch because not every power rack has that. Not to mention the J-hooks and the chrome safety arms for those added safety measures. So I really think this may be the best power rack out there for the money. It does feature a relatively small footprint, but be sure to map out your available space because some of these attachments will demand more space and increase your dimensions. So to learn more about this power rack, just search Barvin Rep Fitness PR 1100 and you can read up on everything we discussed in this video. I hope I answered some questions for you guys about the PR 1100. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.